morning everyone it's 7 11 i'm on second cup of coffee well i say i'm on the second cup of coffee i ended up throwing the first one out <music> I just didn't like the taste. My taste is a bit off, but I'm gonna try some. I've got some cereal. I've made an instant coffee. We'll see how that goes. And been up since, oh, I woke up at 3.30 this morning and could not get back to sleep. I just lay there and lay there and lay there. So eventually at quarter to six, I'm like going downstairs. So that's what I did. Um, looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. They're talking about record highs for this time of year, which is awesome. But fingers crossed we're going to get through this winter with no crazy weather. I think we're the only part of the world that hasn't had any crazy weather. England's getting hit with storms and winds and high, high winds and rains. There's snow, ice, tornadoes all over America. But our little nook and cranny of the world is safe and sound, so... Wishing everyone a safe Sunday. So, okay, so <clears throat> Luna's in a very lovely park. She's starting to see other people. Come on. Come on, let's go. Just a little. Okay. Let's go. Uh, all right, guys, just want to let you know that Wolves won 3 0. Sorry if there's any Norwich supporters out there, but whoa, Wolves! That was a little highlight of the morning. Ash and I are having some. I keep saying Trader Joe's because it's the only place I go to with a tea. Taco Bell, which she got me into with that. Well, actually, she did, and um, my buddy Gina out in Texas when she went through the drive through and had one of those power bowls. So that's what I'm having to get some power. And then we're going to Nordstrom and Target later on. Pete just took Luna to the park. She was very excited. And he didn't want this because he doesn't like it. So he left. Come on. That's it. Tie yourself up. Luna, Luna, do not jump. Luna's tired because she was at the park. Oh, this way. Luna, you tired? Luna, you tired girl, Luna? Okay. You're tired now. Luna's tired because she was at the park like a nut. This is Luna when she gets back from the park. She's wagging now, but she's walking really slow. Pete says she's exhausted. She got in the car, lay down and went to sleep before he even backed out of the parking lot. Luna, who was at the park? Oh, stop saying the word. No. Ashley is now going to get covered in dog hair because she's laying on the floor. Okay. Already happened. So. <laughs> Dina, I am sorry that I said nobody likes you. That's just not true. So heavy. Okay. She is heavy now, isn't she? To the whole so one of the dogs from yesterday was there and they got to play. Look at her legs, you're all crossed. You tired? Oh, that's a cute picture. Let me zoom in a bit. Why won't it let me? Okay, my thing is blue. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous out. It's 55 degrees, which is unheard of for February. We are off to Nordstrom. I almost said at Kia. Because we are just talking about it. And then we're going over to Target. So that little place over there on the corner I used to work at. It used to be a real estate office, just a piece on the left, and then on the right was the ag agricultural, no, architecture, architecture firm, and 
he used to live upstairs and he was a funny old man but spent many a day there before I was married and then a little bit after until I went to work at the club but it's beautiful out it is actually beautiful out Ashley and I do not have coats on Ashley has brand new gorgeous sneakers on that she got the other night that I want a pair now such a beautiful day today. Goodbye, son. Thanks for showing your face. Okay, guys, having a bit of a time out, just some quiet time. It is quarter to six. We're going to make dinner around, well, I'm going to make dinner around 7.30. We're gonna have one of those stovetop things um, that we all like. Pete picked one up yesterday when he picked up the pizza and it's a chicken palm and pasta. Looks quite nice. We've had it, we've had it before, so I know it's nice. But, and then I just picked up some of those little Hawaiian rolls to go with it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that around 7.30 so, because we're gonna watch American Idol. Gotta look like I've been thumped in the eyeballs. Um, yeah, it was nice to get out. I'm not going to lie, it was an effort to walk around. Because like I said yesterday, I'm hurting a lot. But um, it was nice just to get out and just see some faces and interact with some people, different people and that. Um, um, <laughs> what was I going with that? The mall was really quiet. We literally just went in so Ash could pick up her shoes for work. They're so nice. Um, she's allowed to wear vans to work as long as they're black and I think with the white sole and that's what these ones are But she did order another pair as well, but they're not going to be until Tuesday So I'll probably take a ride back with her on Tuesday night unless she um, Goes right after work and has to get over there quickly, but I don't think that's the case um, Pete's home this week, which is good. He's finished all his editing now, so he's actually sitting on the couch or on the chair, his recliner. Well, he was. He was asleep when Ash and I walked in. I'm like, are you asleep? He goes, no. I'm like, you don't have to feel bad if you did fall asleep. Like, my God, your guy works every hour, God sends. But he always feels guilty if he falls asleep on the chair. He and Luna, Luna was passed out after her little run at the park. And you'll see, because I'd have added it by now, I was just running up and down the gate with that little, um, what was it, um, Jack Russell. I was like, it's so, it was so cute to see them. No wonder she was tired because she literally got in the car and lay down, which I'll include that clip as well because he videoed her in the car as well. Excuse me, but it was really cute. Um, why do I keep saying um? I'm not a person to say um. I'm the one that says so. But <laughs> she had a great time anyway. So she's been to the park twice this weekend. So that's a fun thing for her. And then, I don't know, I don't really showed it. On the back panel of the car, Pete had hit the side of the house one day, a long time ago. And um, there was a bunch of white. And it looked really bad. And I said, people probably think I did it, especially on the black car. People probably think I did it because I'm a woman driver, yada, yada, yada. But he did some, he scuffed it out today and put something over it so it doesn't look half as bad now. You don't look at it and go, oh my God, you have to literally look close to see what's happened. But uh, it looks a lot better. And then I was just in there videoing the sunset, which isn't much of a sunset because there's no clouds. But it's the end of the day, so I like to show the sky. And I just sold a bag on Poshmark. I don't know if it's up here or downstairs. I think it's downstairs because I do believe it's one that I had on on eBay for a very long time and it didn't sell. And it's so funny because I was in the car and I was shaking my phone saying, come on, Poshmark, give me a sale. I've got a pair of trousers going out tomorrow, which I sold, which were only 10 bucks, but a sale's a sale. And then I, this bag wasn't a big expensive bag either, but it's just nice to sell it because it has been around a long time and I haven't used it. It's like new. It's one I got at the um, outlets years ago. So it's just nice to reap a little money back, you know, if it's not being used. It's so funny because my closet is like half empty because I refuse to put everything back in it. And I mean, it's atrocious. I need to really clean up the corner. But it's just nice to do the sale. 
Now, as she's at work tomorrow, but she doesn't have to go in until five because they have someone coming in to bring new stuff in. So she and the other ops, the ops manager are going to be there from five to 12, which sucks because then she's in early on Tuesday. But um, she and I will go because she sold something on Macari, one of her pallets. So she and I will go over to the post office tomorrow and mail everything out. So I want to wait till about lunchtime just in case there's any more. Any more? It'd be nice to do another bag. One of the big ones. I mean, some of the ones I've put on, I'm like, I don't want to part with them, but I want to part with them. Do you know, it's like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I said to Ash, I'm going to put them up. And if they sell, they sell. I'm not going to take them off. But I'm trying not to use them. I keep looking at what I've got listed going, well, I could use that one today. But no, you used it and you put it up for a reason. So they must sell. They must sell. They will. Just takes a bit of time. But a lot of people want something for nothing. For instance, I have an Erin Condren planner. Now, it's just the monthly. And I know it's, we're going into March next week. But I it quite clearly stated, and it's not at full price. And it's brand new. And this girl goes... Um, can you tell me the month? So I said, yeah, it's January through December. I said, but remember, it's not a daily or a weekly. It's just a monthly and it's got note paper and it comes with two extra um, covers because the covers are interchangeable. So the covers are like 12 bucks a piece. So I put it up for 45 and then I made an offer to the people that liked it for like 36. So she comes in with a $20 um, bid. I'm like, $20, that's less than the two covers. So I said 27 and she's like, decline, wouldn't even come back at me with another offer. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell things to next to nothing just to get rid of them. I mean, I will use it if I have to, or I, you know, I'll just take the cover off this one. Then there'll be three covers, but I just, I do get a bit annoyed when people really low bore you and they want something for nothing. This girl was talking to me at midnight one night, trying to get me to lower the price of these two face sprays. And I said to her, why don't you just give me an offer and I will counter offer it. I said, but I'm going to tell you, I've already lowered the price. So I'm not going much lower because it's two huge bottles. So the same thing, I, I do an offer and then she comes in really, really low, offers me like more than, it would have been more than 70% off. I'm like, no. And uh, so I went back at her, not too crazy, declined. I'm like, fine. Why did I waste half an hour? Yeah, why did I waste half an hour? Mm -hmm going back and forward with you when you had no intention of really she should have just said to me the amount she was talking to me um I, I this is all I want to pay because I sold a bag to somebody and I let her talk me down and I'm really annoyed that I did because a week later she puts it on her closet for sale saying that it's not quite what she had in mind blah 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 after and another one that asked me like a million and one questions before she bought it and like I said she talked me way down and I should never have done it I'm, I'm kicking myself and live and learn and she can't sell it now because she's put it up there and it's what the price she's put it up for no one's buying so you know I feel bad but I don't feel bad but I will not be taken for a ride anymore no more lowballing me. Thank you very much. You know, enough's enough. But I have the sob story. You have a sob story. And I don't say to you, oh, no, I can't go any lower because... No. We're all on there to make some money. It's a business. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. Look, I just can't get over how dark my under eyes are. Um, nails are doing all right, considering it's been two and a half weeks, aren't they? Except the one on this finger which I've had to file all the way down because it chipped, chip, chip. The minute I cancelled my appointment, it chipped, chip, chipped. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. I've had my tea. It was very nice. And now I'm going to go and just chill out a little bit before I go down and make dinner for us. <coughs> I almost got away with it. Oh, dear. But, yeah. Um, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys a little later. What is wrong with you, Luna? You can't keep your head up. Ashley just moved her and her whole head flopped backwards. Oh my goodness. It's a big day at the park, Luna. Um, it is 10.03, gonna call it a night. 
getting a bit raspy anyway, so I don't want to be talking much longer. <coughs> I um, just watched American Idol. It's so good. The stories get you, though, don't they? They really do. There's some really good kids on there. Um, some really talented people on there, too. And then some other people just come out all crazy. And you think, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, um, they don't show as many of the bad singers now as they used to. It used to be in the beginning. It was like a lot of that because that's what everybody loves to hate, isn't it? So, But anyway, guys, it's a good show. I love it. It reminds me a lot of my friend Michelle because we used to always get on the phone. It used to be on in January. Now they pushed it to February because Channel 5 dropped it and then Channel 7 picked it up and it's all new people and what have you. But, um, yeah, it was one of our fun things that we used to sit and chat on the phone about. Um, it was our thing. It was our thing. And she's not here anymore to enjoy it with me, but... Hopefully she's watching up there. There's a telly. I don't know. But anyway, it's four minutes past ten. I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everyone had a brilliant, brilliant, uh, no, not Monday, Sunday, whatever it is you did today. <coughs> <coughs> whatever it is you did today. Hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.